Hi friends, welcome to Biology Tutor. Today we are going to discuss about market milk. Don't forget to write free online mock test tomorrow, 15th July 2020 at 6 p.m. Register for free online mock test at www.microbiologytutor.com. Market milk. Milk is collected from the farmers and transported to milk plants for its processing into mass market milk and other dairy products. Yesterday we had discussed about the composition of market milk in a separate chart. Today we are going to discuss about the different processes involved in it. First the milk collection, cooling and transportation, then reception of milk, from reception of milk, chilling and storage, then filtration and clarification, next the standardization, next the homogenization, next pasteurization, sterilization and packaging. Milk collection, milk has to be collected and transported from production points in the milk shed areas to processing and distribution points in cities. Collection systems involves directly from producer through the middleman, it, through agents or contractors, through, cooperate, through cooperative societies, directly from dairies or chilling plants, through different government agencies. Cooling and transportation. If the dairy plant is far away from the collection center, the collected milk is first brought to a centralized chilling center or bulk milking, sorry, bulk milk cooling unit. Here milk is cooled to 4 degrees Celsius and stored in insulated storage tanks of 5000 to 20,000 liter capacity. Type of transport collected and transported twice a day, morning and evening. Roadways, railways, waterways and airways or combination of two or more can also be used for transporting milk. Different methods are headlot, shoulder sling, pack animals, bullock cart, bicycle, cycle rickshaw or auto rickshaw, boat, motor truck, tankers and railway wagons may be used. Reception of milk. Milk is delivered to the dairy plant either in can or in tangles via rod or ray. Place in the dairy plant where milk is received. Milk that is known as milk reception dock or platform or raw milk receiving dock RMRD. Reception includes following operations like unloading, grading, sampling, weighing or measuring and testing. First unloading. Milk cans unloaded manually. Milk tankers. Milk is passed through pipelines in tankers. Grading. It involves platform tests. It includes all tests which are performed to check the quality of the incoming milk. To decide regarding its acceptance or rejection. Platform test. First one organoleptic test. We will check the smell or order, appearance or taste and temperature over here. Second one preliminary test. Clot on boiling COB. Milk is heated to boiling point in a test tube for checking whether it withstands heat treatment without clotting. If the milk clots on boiling, it is sore or abnormal. That is known as clot on boil or COB test. Next, the alcohol test. Milk with increased acidity, abnormal salt balance or mastitis flocculates after addition of alcohol. That is known as alcohol test. Next, the titratable acidity. Milk is titrated with sodium hydroxide to assess soreness in milk. Milk with greater than 0.15% lactic acid is rejected. pH Electronic pH meter is used to check the pH of the milk. Lactometer test used for determination of specific gravity of the milk. Sediment test used to check the visible foreign matter contained in the milk. Alizarin alcohol test 
to determine both heat stability and approximate percentage of acidity in milk. Milk showing poor heat stability is to be rejected in alizarin alcohol test. Sampling, sampling may be individual or composite or in drip. Sample should be taken after thorough mixing of milk with the help of plunger or sample. To prevent spoilage of sample milk, preservatives are used. Mercury chloride or corrosive sublimate. These are poisonous bright red colored tablets. Formalin. 40% solution of formaldehyde convenient to handle but interferes with fat test. Potassium dichromate. Not so effective but it is easy to handle as it is available in tablet form. Weighing or measuring essential step in accounting for milk receipts, disposal and making payments for milk. Testing. Further testing is needed in case of doubtful quality prior to its acceptance for processing. The common quality control tests are displayed in the right side. You must read this for your exams. Chilling and storage of milk. Chilling. It is a rapid cooling of raw milk to sufficiently low temperature or of less than 10 degrees Celsius. Usually 3 to 4 degrees Celsius. Methods of chilling. Can immersion. In can cooling. Surface cooler. Tubular cooler. Plate chiller means most widely used and most effective method. That is plate, plate chiller. Bulk milk cooler, also known as BMC. Storage. The purpose of storage tank is to hold milk at low temperature to maintain continuity in milk processing operations to prevent any deterioration in quality during holding and processing period. Types of storage tank. The first type is insulated storage tanks. Second one is refrigerated tanks. And the third one is horizontal or vertical tanks. For small volumes, horizontal tanks are used of 5,000 to 15,000 liters capacity. Vertical storage tanks are of 1 lakh liter capacity or more. Commonly known as silos. Vertical storage tanks normally known as silos. Filtration and clarification of milk. Done to remove solid impurities from milk. Straining. What is straining? It is to be done to remove large pieces of materials like straw, hair and insects. Fine metal gauze strainer or metallic sieve are used over here. Filtration. Milk filter consists of a nylon filter bag or a filter pad supported on a perforated stainless steel support. The filtering medium has a pore size of 25 to 100 mm. Filtration can be carried out either on cold milk about 10 degrees Celsius or warm milk. Clarification. Used to remove finer impurities. Use a centrifugal force. Centrifugal machine called clarifier are used. Other centrifugal process for milk. Bactofugation. What is bactofugation? It is the process of removal of microorganisms from milk using centrifugal force. Bactofuge is a kind of high speed up to 20,000 rpm clarifier. A double Bactofuge treatment at 73 degrees Celsius yields more than 99.9% .9 reduction in bacterial spore count of milk. Cream separation. Milk is emulsion of large fat globules dispersed in the continuous aqueous phase or serum. These fat globules are separated from non-fat solid portion of milk using cream separators. Cream separators used in manufacturing a variety of fat rich dairy products such as cream of various types, butter, ghee, etc. and skim milk. It helps to adjust the composition of milk with respect to its fat and SNF contents. Methods of separation of cream from milk. Gravity separation is there. Very slow and inefficient one. Second one is centrifugal separation. Standardization of milk. It is the adjustment of fat and SNF percentage of milk to a value to meet the legal requirements. 
methods of calculation for standardization of milk or cream for product manufacture the proportions of the various ingredients of non composition to be mixed is estimated by pearson square method algebraic equations methods for standardization batch continuous and automatic standardization are there in all cases first whole milk is separated into skim milk and cream and then proceeding for blending the required quantities only homogenization it is defined as a process in which flat globules in milk are broken down to a size small enough to prevent the formation of a cream layer the size of fat globules in homogenized milk is less than 2 micrometer homogenizer it is a machine which disintegrates the fat globules of milk warm milk of 60 to 65 degree celsius is passed under high pressure and velocity through a small aperture this causes high shearing stresses over here and cavitations and micro turbulence the globules becomes deformed wavy and then break up advantages prevents formation of cream layer improves the digestibility of milk tastes richer smoother and creamier and is more whiter than unhomogenized disadvantages sensitive to lipase and oxidation develops dark sediment on storage bacterial count increases over here these are the disadvantages pasteurization named after the french microbiologist louis pasteur he is the father of modern microbiology and pasteurization of wine as done by louis pasteur pasteurization of milk as done by franz von sachsen of germany in 1886 It is a process of heating every particle of milk to at least 63 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes or 72 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds or to any temperature time which is equally efficient in any approved and properly operated equipment. After pasteurization the milk is immediately cooled to 5 degrees Celsius or below. Objectives of pasteurization to improve the keeping quality of milk by destruction of almost all spoiled organisms of 85 to 99 percent to render the milk safe for human consumption by destruction of 100 percent pathogenic microorganism standards for pasteurization should ensure complete destruction of pathogens pasteurization conditions are designed to effectively destroy the organisms like mycobacterium tuberculosis it was in earlier method and coxella barnetii recently it is designed to destroy coxella barnetii negative phosphatase test should inactivate the phosphatase enzyme over here in the milk phosphatase test is used to check the efficiency of pasteurization just and we had discussed about that perceive some of the important enzymes in the milk least damage to the cream layer different methods of pasteurization different methods of pasteurization methods of pasteurization of milk there are three common types of milk pasteurization that vary with temperature and time the milk is held at that temperature low temperature long time lt lt batch or wet or holding pasteurization this is known as batch or wet or holding pasteurization 63 degree celsius for 30 minutes and probably cooled to 5 degree celsius this is known as lt lt pasteurization or wet pasteurization or wet batch pasteurization or holding pasteurization next high temperature short time or ht st or flash pasteurization or continuous pasteurization it 
the temperature heated up to 72 degrees celsius for 15 seconds and cooled promptly to 5 degrees celsius or below here in the second case is the ultra high temperature or uht pasteurization milk heated between 135 degrees celsius to 150 degrees celsius for 1 to 2 seconds chilling it immediately and aseptically packaging it in a hermetic or air tightened container for storage Apparization, what is apparization? Also called ultra pasteurization developed in Switzerland. Milk is heated with direct steam up to 150 degrees Celsius for a fraction of second. This is continuous process. Vacuum pasteurization or vacuation. Pasteurization of milk or cream under reduced pressure by direct steam. The equipment used in this process is called vacuator. And the process is called wet creation. It removes all flavor from milk and cream. Stazanization, invented by Henry Stesano in France. The milk is heated to about 74 degrees Celsius for 7 seconds and then properly cooled. Sterilization of milk. Milk is heated continuously to a temperature of 115 to 120 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds or 145 degrees Celsius for 3 to 4 sorry 3 to 5 seconds or equivalent approved temperature time combination to ensure preservation of milk at room temperature for a period of not less than 15 days from the date of manufacture. Sterilized milk shall show absence of albumin by a negative turbidity test. Sterilized milk shall be sold only in the container in which the milk was sterilized. Packaging Common packaging materials for market milk industry are glass, two types, transparent and opaque. Next, the plastics. Plastic packaging materials include LDPE, LLDPE, SDPE, HMHD, BOPP, PET, MPET, MPP, etc. Co excluded and multi layered packaging materials or laminates, combination of two or more different films. Lamination strengthens the film material, improves grease resistance, and increases barrier properties. Some of the laminates are polyethylene or paper, polyethylene, aluminum foil, or other polyethylene materials, etc. Different packaging forms flexible. Pouches dominates 92%. These are the easiest, safest and most cost effective ones. Glass bottle 7% are used. Tetra packs for UHT products 1% are used. Thank you. If you like this channel, please share and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell button for notifications.